Salutations, everyone, and I have a very, very good question for you before we start this episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. How many doors is there? Actually, fuck, I forgot to change the graphics setting. Alright, we're back, and I had a question. How many doors is there in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door? I know it's a totally irrelevant question, it doesn't matter to anything, but I like knowing the answers to irrelevant questions because I'm a human being. That's all we do, we ask questions that literally don't matter to anything because we want to know the answers to those irrelevant questions. That's literally everything we do in life every single day because literally everything's irrelevant and doesn't matter. Alright, stop being very depressing, very pessimistic because no one's going to want to watch someone at the end of the day after they come home from a long day of work or college and I drop my controller and just point out that universe is shit, we're all fucked, we're all going to die, free will is an illusion, everything you've done in life is predetermined and doesn't matter, your life is relevant and you will die, not even being known, and your accomplishments, you won't even know them in death. Alright, stop, that, that joke got a little bit too real and went on a bit too long. So let's move on. Oh, yay, everything's working now. No more lag. That's right. I changed the graphics setting back and everything seems fine now. And I got an email from who? What did I get an email from? Peach? Did we get our email from Peach yet? I don't remember. I think we might have, but I could be wrong. Wait, no, it's here. Uh, mailbox SP. All right. Nope. Go. go, go. What did I get? Uh, Rogueport Daily Mail, I think, right? Rogueport Today. Local Mystic Marvel Lovely. Age 25 was taken to the hospital today. Oh no, what happened to her lovely? No, what happened to you? Are you okay? Are you dead? Well, quickly by herds of concerned fans, luckily according to a spokesperson for the hospital, her lovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion. All right, then why is this important? Why does this matter? Local person gets indigestion. More at five! Why does this matter? Oh my god, just like real celebrities in real life, every single minor fucking thing they do is newsworthy because fucking gets clicks or whatever. Oh my god, caused by a wild binge on eight shroom steaks. Eight shroom steaks? Girl, you gotta lose your figure, come on, Jesus Christ. Divine Diner exclaimed that her ore was brimming with the power of steak. Nice, your aura was brimming with the, with the power of steak. Now that's a mood. But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastrotogenal invention in the first place. You question, you question her fucking powers? You question that fortune teller's powers? That's like a sin or something. You're going to hell when you die. I don't know. My insanity still turned up to a five out of one, by the way. I don't know. Look, everything's working now. I definitely think it was, for some reason, the windows at night caused the game to crash. So every single time it turns night, we're going to have to uh, switch back to the other graphics segment. It's going to suck, but it's a necessary thing when I get through this game because my computer is totally ass and dumb. And by the way, the game looks like a lot less crisp now on the setting they didn't last one. So I think that's like the proper settings for this game. Oh, well. My computer's just not powerful enough to handle it. What am I doing today now? Probably should go back to Mr. The Penguin Detective, cause he knows best or something, I don't know. Wait, what? Why are you two in here convening? This is pretty suspicious. What are you doing talking Mr. Nerd Mouse right here? Hello? Wait, what are you guys talking about? I can't hear it. Hi. Ah, my dear Luigi. Your time is impeccable. A new case is arriving. Oh my god, another one? What is it this time? Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Yes, I am Luigi, and I am on the case. Tell me everything you know. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. Oh no, someone stole your briefcase. How terrible. Where in the world where was even was your briefcase? I never saw you carrying one. Never saw, like, under your bed, in your drawers, anything. You kept it in your fucking tie pocket. Where are you keeping on this shit, man? We contain all our deal contracts for our next deal. And even our new product, 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 prototype. I can't speak at all. Product, prototype. Oh my god. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Oh no, you're gonna get sued. Ha, ah, this man's gonna get sued. Laugh at him. Shame him. Ha 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 ha. I don't know. 
Uh, calm yourself. The next spot is vital. So tell Luigi very slowly. It's very slow because I'm a very slow individual. It's going to take me a little while to process it, all right? So take it slow. Sorry, I'm stupid. Of course, of course. A company new product, Nitro Honey Syrup, all right? Used properly is an amazing product and even raise... Don't, don't you be fucking lying right now. You know false advertising like illegal or something, probably. What the what? Don't, don't fucking lie about that. What the hell is wrong with you? Been mixed with the calcium from a seashell. A bit of gold. Oh, wait. Ooh. I see where this is going. Oh, I see where this is going. Oh, no. Some, something's going on. Because who's missing a she seashell earring? Toad girl. Who's missing a golden ring? Grandma. And now... Oh, no. Wait, calcium. We don't have calcium yet, so we're still missing a key component. Well, then the results are... Oh, oh my... I was just fucking joking! I didn't think it was actually gonna blow up the train! I thought it was about to just cause trouble, but this... No, this nigga's actually gonna blow up the train! You kidding me? He's, oh my... He, he, are you kidding me? The resulting goo blast will mobilize everyone here in a sticky yet slimy slack! Oh no, man. We're gonna be covered in... White. I don't know why I said white. Because he wanted to make a... You, you know what kind of joke. He didn't specify white, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna be covered in white sticky goo. Oh, I don't like that. Being covered in a white thick sticky goo. <laughs> no, stop. My insanity's too much. It fell into the wrong hands. Well, I could lose more than my job. You could lose your life. Dear God, man. Alright, who's talking right now, though? Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Yes, that that's a fact. Get the hundred percent of facts. But you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Yes. What? What are you doing right now? Why are you just pointing out the obvious? You are sh such a shit detective. This train has not stopped at any time in all the intervening time. Yes. Very, very, very good. Very brilliant, Mr. Detective Penguin. You, you you're solving the case. Uh, excuse me? I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi, rudimentary! The thief has stolen the train! That, that was so difficult to figure out, man. I literally could never figure it out myself. Brilliance! Fucking, this is the, me the detective of the century. Greater than Sherlock Holmes. A fucking... I don't know. Who else? I don't know any detectives. Uh, Kijiri Kirigiri from Danganronpa. The both of them twos combined. Yeah, I need to stop wasting time. Can you shut up? Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? I have. Oh, look, you actually did some detective work and figured shit out, didn't you? They've both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shelly rings, and the lady too has lost a gold ring. Oh, look! You impressed me. You actually made the connection. Maybe you actually have hope to become a good detective. Luigi, the same person who stole these objects also had the nitro honey syrup. They can make this goo blast. They can carry out the threat in the notes. Oh no. We're all gonna get gooped! I hate goop, man. Oh my god, I can't believe goop even came up in this game. I am not gonna get goop. I won't let this guy carry out his dashly plan with goop. Goop will not come to fruition. I refuse. So, sip of Luigi, you must find that thief. I will. You must apprehend this suspect before he puts this dashly planned in effort. I will do that. This man is not gooping me. I will not. Goop will not invade this playthrough, man. I'm tired of Goop invading my playthrough. It's causing trouble, man. So we have to solve this case before this dude can cause any more trouble. Alright, so we should probably start the scene of the crime, right? Mr. Mouse Detective's room. Alright, nothing seems out of hand at first. You see anything, Mr. Out's face? Mr. Assface, do you see anything? Hmm. There's nothing in here. Very odd. Uh, actually, not very odd. There wasn't anything in there before. Alright, so, anything in this room? Actually, let's not waste time. Let's actually investigate at a perfect, you know, good rate. Let's stop doing this fucking detective shit. Alright, nothing. I don't see anything that interesting about you. You would have had a perfect angle to see someone go in his room, but ah, uh, you're around the corner. If you, were if you were standing here all night, you would have saw nothing. Hmm. Uh. Hello, Detective Mario! I saw no one suspicious during the night! Alright, you didn't even hear anything? Like a door opening, maybe? Hmm. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station today around dusk, I believe! 
That's suspicious. He didn't even hear anything. Very suspicious, my man. I'm watching you. I'm fucking watching you. Or right, about you? Do you guys hear anything? You're like you're literally next door. You had to hurt something. It's raining right now. I think I saw a little. Oh, and then maybe that was just a glitch. I thought I saw raindrops though. Oh well. How about you? Did you hear anything? Good morning, Mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. No problem, bratty little kid. No problem. Is that all you have to say? All right. Oh my God. Oh. I forgot what voice he did from. It's up in the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us and are arguing worse yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. I, I'm, I'm ashamed to even know of you people's existence. I feel ashamed to even be associated with you in any way, shape, or form. You people are awful. Ugh. Did the pop show has been in high spirits yesterday. I wondered why he's so happy, man. You should ask him. You know, like, like parents usually do. You know, see how their children is doing and asking what makes them tick. I don't know, man. It'd be actual parents. I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know. I don't know why, but these lanterns, these little lanterns in the wall, remind me of my, like, profile picture for some reason. I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, the little light hanging off looks like my neck, and the little round it looks like my face, and for some reason the pink of the... the pink of the whatever those are called reminds me of a hat for some reason. I don't know, man. I'm just so obsessed and so egotistical. I see myself in everywhere I look, man, because my ego is awe-inspiring. I, I, I forgot to ask these people how the fuck they're doing. Because I need to ask them, because I'm on the case looking for all the clues I can find. What about you? Do you have anything for me? Hello, it's a good feeling day, isn't it? Friend of mine, yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious and make the day mad. Ho, ho, ho. Hopefully that fat lord bastard won't steal it all again. That'd be great, wouldn't it? What about you, Mr. Cute Little Toad Girl? You got anything from me, lass? Good morning! So any chance you see my shelling ring earrings anywhere? Actually, no. Sorry. Not, not, not exactly. I'm pretty sure you're about to get gooped in the face. We don't find them soon, though. I don't know. Maybe you, you're maybe you're into that getting gooped in the face. I don't know, man. I, I just like making dirty jokes. They're the best kind of jokes for a five-year-old like me to make. You know? All right, all right. The ghost, right? Maybe the ghost would note something. I don't know. He can see through walls and shit, right? He saw something. How do I get him out, though? Maybe he doesn't come out during the daytime, so I don't know, he's a ghost, they don't like sunlight or some shit, right? Alright, Mr. Assface, we're going back on the case. Let's go. Alright, Mr. Assface, you have any in Actually, maybe I should ask Goombella, because, you know, she's kind of the person to ask about things. What about you, Goombella? You got anything? Anything useful? This is Passionate Car! Why don't you- Wait, did I forget to tattle on people? I think I did. Well, shit. This is the Passionate Car! Why don't you brand a car? That actually looks good! Passionate Car Cab is here, number 5 through 4 and 5, in case you forgot your numbers. That's really not what I wanted to know. I, I literally already figured that out, but sure, whatever. But whatever, I'm fine. Alright, about you, Mr. Fat Lord Bastard? Was it you? Did you do it? Are you the one who wanted to goop all over our face? You fat, degenerate bastard want to goop on people? The hell's wrong with you? Hey, boy, Mario! Have you been in the Johnny Car today yet? No, I have. I mean, I have. I passed through it, though, and then stopped there and eat, like, fucking five pounds of food, like, yo! God! Why am I insulting fat people? It's not funny. I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew! It was like a bad, shattery nightmare! But there's that Hitson, the good guy, our pals now! Isn't life weird? Yes, life is pretty weird. Pretty weird that guy came friends with you after you stole his food and ate it. Pretty weird. Don't know why anyone would be friends with you Go around stealing people's food! Lord brain. I don't know what's wrong with me. I need to stop insulting people for no reason. And solve this mystery. I already spent way too much time doing nothing. How about you, Mr. Egotistical? Wait, you're not egotistical, bastard. You're... you. Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man. You delightful, dear. See, I'll tell you. These girls cannot resist the stash. Too powerful. How you found my gold ring? Um, no, actually. They'll go desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Of course I will, because if I don't find it, the goop will invade my playthrough and I will die. I will have a heart attack from pure shock and pure disbelief that goop once again invaded my playthrough. Wait, what? Hmm, oh, that's odd. Where did Mr. Egotistical Toad Man go? Wait, what? There's a note. I almost missed that. A vital paper. This looks like something very important. Complicated. 
Alright, why is this in his room? And where has he gone? Alright, what is it though? Alright, what are you? You look something very important and complicated. Apparently I can't read it because it's just that complicated, man. My brain is not gamery and big enough to even comprehend it because I'm a big fucking boomer, large brain, apparently. Or about in here? Where else could he possibly be? Alright. Odd. Is he here? He's not here. Where else on the train could he go, though? It must be something involving him. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? Um, sure, yeah. We make a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. I don't want to take stops, man. This chapters aren't going to be long enough as it is. God damn it. Oh, whatever, man. All right, so... Mr. Toad, cool guy, is missing. Odd. And there's nowhere else on the train he could hide besides the the cargo room. And very suspicious. I think we should just bring this paper back to Mr. Detective Guy. Don't know why. He's literally not helpful at all. Uh, you know what's odd? The save block is suspended, like indefinitely, and the train's shaking, but it's not moving. But how does the save block move with the train? If it doesn't move with the train vertically, but it does horizontally, how does that even make sense? It doesn't. It just doesn't, man. That how's how does that physics? I mean, we're not even getting to the idea of how a block can float and enable you to save and load in different parts of time. It's not even getting into that, man. I don't know. All right, I'm back and I have a paper. Maybe it's something you will know about. Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. Ha, oh, you're gonna get fired. Get your fucking nose out of my eyeball. Thank you very much, sir. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? I have indeed. You probably won't be able to comprehend them because you're also a very small, large brain. There you go, vital paper. What is this paper, huh? What sort of clue this is supposed to be? Do you know what it is? Ha, that's why my contract for my upcoming business deal. He's gonna know what it is, because he's a nerd. Alright, what is it? What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Totally, man. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? In Mr. Rich Bastard's room. Mr. Rich, smug, egotistical bastard's room. Captain One, you say? Yes, yeah, Sip Toad's room. A place I've long suspected. I'm sure you have, man. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Maybe he got murdered. That actually wouldn't be, you know, very, very, very bad thing, to be honest. Just, just saying. The path he's hiding, some on this train. Always oh, one step ahead. Yep, where would he could be hiding, though, besides the cargo part of the train? Very well, my dear Luigi, find that zip toad. I will, there's really only one place he could literally hide, man. Obvious, easy, not even a problem. Alright, I need to get back in this room, please, thank you. This is the baggage car! I just made no one! Oh no, no passengers allowed! Um, then where else am I supposed to look, huh? Where else could he possibly be on this goddamn forsaken train? There's literally nowhere else, so why won't you let me? Whatever. 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 Alright, back. Mr. Asshole Toad Guy won't let me through even after I did him a solid, but he won't do me a solid even though he owes me way more than one mushroom. You know what you need to do, not Luigi. Find that zip toad. Can you tell me Can you tell me something actually useful? Uh, not good. Not. Oh my god. Yep. You already said that. Stop saying the same thing over and over again. I'm stuck again. I hate this train. I keep getting stuck and not knowing what I'm supposed to do. And I hate it. What right about you? Do you know anything? Maybe you're disguised. Maybe he's disguised this guy and killed him and took his place because all toads look the same because I'm racist. My God, a traveler! Welcome to Sales Stop. We have a lot of souvenirs. These are not souvenirs. These are like food items and shit, man. Ah, uh, whatever. Hey, look, a boo sheet. Why didn't the guy just come down here and buy a boo sheet and use that as a blanket, huh? Why did they bother me looking for a blanket? You get fucking involved with ghosts that want to steal my soul if I read their diary, man. What am I looking for? You ever know where he is, right? Could you like him or something? He says to tell come to dinner last night. Really? Whoa, whoa, I just didn't notice your head shakes like fucking crazy. What the hell is wrong with you? My god, she's like in La La Land, just shaking back and forth like she's fucking demented or something. But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe 
really? There really are. Yeah, I guess. She's kind of ditzy, isn't she? I haven't picked it up for some reason. What about you? Do you see where it was? I don't know. It's a good feeling day, my friend. No, 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 no. I already said that. Uh, well, he didn't say anything usual. She did, though. So maybe he's on this side of the train. Maybe now that I know I'm looking for him, I ask more different questions now. Or what about you? Or what about you? Do you guys like hang out in here, like have some little fun? Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute. Is this? No, it's the ghost room. Dumb. I thought this was the old lady's room. I made a mistake because I am Lard Brain. Big boomer Lard Brain. Like this guy. I didn't know he could move during the cutscene. Jeez, that would have been good to know. They're more Oh my god. I don't care about the fact you ate food. Please stop going around telling people you ate food. You know what's even worse than eating yourself to Lard Brain? It's telling people. How are you going to continue eating yourself into having a giant Lard Brain? My god. Alright, can I find something out actually, you know, useful for the end of this episode? So I can say I actually got shit done. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Yep, compliment me. Feed my ego so I will do your bidding. Yes, it will work every single time because I am an egomaniac. Speaking of egomaniacs, where the hell is this dude? Double postcards, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. God, where is he? Where are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Did you jump off the train? That would have done the world a huge favor. But sadly, the train door is locked, so you couldn't have done that. My god, hey, do you have any ideas? Come on, you see, blah, 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 my god, why is there literally only one person talking about this bastard missing? You're kidding me. What am I supposed to do? I may I have to go in here? Maybe Bella can do some investigating of her own. Is it passionate? Oh my god, you're just telling- you're not even telling me about the individual rooms, you lazy butt, Goombella. You're so lazy. Come on now. Oh my god, what am I looking for? Why? Maybe the ghost. He's not here though. Uh, 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 uh. What am I looking for? Why am I looking for it? Where is everything? Did you see that? The big screen, maybe they all are. That's has to be some clue. She's the only one who mentioned him. You see that Zipto come to last night's dinner. He was here. So that means he was here at dinner last night. So he came through here, obviously. Maybe he's like, I don't know, maybe he's dead body like under a fucking table or something. I don't know. I'm thinking Dangarapa style for some reason. Like, I don't know, something fucking his body under the table. He's like out there bleeding out. I don't fucking know. Blow! With the tablecloth away. Not working. Blow! Oh god. If all else fails, blow. But if blowing fails, what what do what do he, what recourse do we even have left? What even is there left to do? I don't know, man. I, I'm at a loss now, man. Now what? Wait, I didn't think of going in here. Maybe he went back to the scene of the crime. Hmm. No. Come on, are you kidding me? Are you actually joking me? What the hell am I looking for? Hello, you harp on a criminal in this room? Oh my god. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, we'll be stopping around the dish around dusk, I believe. All right. What am I? Wait, he said something different. Do I have to keep asking him. Uh, nope. He just switches between. I'm just gonna look it up. You know what? If all else fails, when you know blowing doesn't work, you know what we do? We cheat. Ah. Uh. Where's my phone? Oh. Oh, I have any chance of cheating? Where is it? I'm not gonna edit this out. You guys have to suffer with me. As you always do. Oh, editing. Aloud, ever. Oh. Oh, my God. Cheating commenced. Alright, time to look up. In exact terms, where the fuck is Zip Toad at? This fucking stupid bastard. I'm gonna type all it in, totally. Alright, where the fuck? I'm actually typing it, no. Zip, where's Zip Toad? Where is he? Where, where is he hiding? Alright, that's, that's, that's his Wikipedia page. I don't care about that. Here we go. Where the heck is Zip Toad on the train with the penguin? What? Read the... 
I have to go back to, do, I have to go back to my room? What do you, I have to turn off my lights. I have to turn it on to find the fucking phone. I forgot to turn it off. God damn it. Why do I have to go back to my room? Why? What possible reason do I have to go back to my room? Why is that even an option to do? I was already at my room, so why wasn't something there before? Ugh, I'm angry. I'm pissed. I'm just purely angry. Uh, this this just holds me up so much. We're getting so little done between these episodes and just making me so upset. Why? Where were you before? Why are you here? Could this be another clue? Alright, what is it? This document just needs the last one. I, the suspect must be in here somewhere. Yes, but where though? The only one who can do this shit's a ghost. It must be the ghost, man. Wait, can, hello? Can, there's a, a blow? What? Huh? I there's a paper here. Can I? Can I? Can I read? Can, can, can I read paper? Um. Oh, oh, am I not? Maybe I have an idea. I have a weird idea. Cause I saw Vivian's uh, name being said for some reason, so I have a dumb idea. This. Did that. Did that do anything for you? What? Hey. What? That. How, how are you supposed? Mm hmm. How are you supposed to figure this out with your own brain? How? How? So vague. Why are you in my room? Zell! Wait, that's not his voice. Zell! Where, where did you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy! I think I will. Hey, hey, no, hey, no. What the? Hey, stop jumping on my bed! What, what is this? What the hell? This guy got fucking sick legs jumping like that all crazy. Are right, you not? Damn, you got some sick fucking hops. Ouch! You get caught, nigga. That's what you get. What are you doing? You've been apprehended. This was our man all along. Pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. Wait, what? Pretending to be Zip Toad? Oh, my fucking dumb gamer brain didn't get the hint. The ditzy girl was saying that he looks different than he does in the movies. Uh, I always miss things, these things until the last moments. Otherwise, piffering things with others to aid your evil plan. Really? It was that simple? I mean, yes, it was all just, I deduced. I'm sure it is, man. You totally figured it out. Totally was all your work. I knew long, long you were fake. Yes, yeah, so this color natural hair tipped me off. Yeah. That, that, cause that, that, yeah, sure. No, I'm, I'm not even gonna comment anymore. This guy's stupidity. <clears throat> and not only that, but I knew you the one who threatened Luigi. How? And I'm not even Luigi. Come on now. Guess this I was getting away with a right a riverside station too This you plays a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. All the good people of this train are now say that's right, you not bring goop into my fucking playthrough. Get your goop out of here! We we ain't allowed no goop on this playthrough. That's correct, sir. No one escapes for this improbably large brain. It's my large brain, thank you very much. My large gamer brain. You have a fucking large brain, alright? Thank you. Um, well, yes, in a case, I have these return what you've stolen, think. Ha, huh? caught. Bleh. What, you returned it for them? I'm not gonna get any of the credit. This dude! Mm. Alright, what, what are we doing? Oh, we got the briefcase. Why are we taking that? That's his briefcase. Give it back to him. Oh, wait, we're getting it. Alright, nice. Ooh. The ring toodles locks is rather expensive. Why? Why did you give it to me, the briefcase to me, when he's literally right there, man? Come on. Ah, uh, my breakfast briefcase. Is the nitro honey syrup safe? No, he ate it all, man. Oh, thank God the fat bastard didn't get it, man. He would already drank all that shit. It would have been gone. There you go. Don't lose it ne next time, man. Keep that thing under lock and key so no one can find it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get sacked. I'm gonna towel on you so you still get sacked. Ah. Uh, laugh at him. Laugh at him. I don't know. A rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. 
Uh, you know what? I think we're just going to end the episode here and be done. This was another amazing episode of Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door, and we solved the case of who was trying to goop the train. But why, though? We still haven't figured out why. Maybe we think this is not over yet, and he's going to come back later with his plan, part two, with a reckoning. I ain't gonna allow him to bring goop to our land. Fuck that shit, man. Anyway, hopefully next session I won't be so fucking crazy, and I'll, you know, tone down my insanity a little bit, and actually be coherent in what I'm saying, and shit like that, but I think I did okay today. Decent. Not as good as the last two sessions, but alright. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this insane session of Paper Mario, the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and hopefully we'll start accelerating and get more shit done, because I'm tired of tired of these playthroughs being so time consuming, doing the most mundane of shit. I'm, I'm just tired of that, man. I should, start, I should probably start editing th things down so we're not spending like 30 minutes doing the most mundane of shit. But whatever, man. You, you have to suffer through all the shit I do with me. That's, that's the kind of, you know, setting I want or something. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.